Thanks for turning your knob to Bob 106.9. It is the morning show, Graham. I am Tim Leary. Say good morning to Melena Curtin. Good morning right back at you. I am out of my skin ecstatic to have this next person <laughs> on. I have wanted to have this woman on the show for as long as we've been doing the show. Absolutely. And uh, there is the American uh, Blood Drive coming up this Friday, and this woman is heading it up, so get over there and donate blood. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Holla D! Yes, Hello, y'all! <laughs> Wow. How is everybody? <laughs> we are fantastic. We are so psyched to talk to you. Oh, my gosh. We moved and to... I back at you, and we're so excited about the blood drive. You know, this is going to be our second one that we've done, and we had such a great response. We're hoping to blow last year's record clean out of the water. You know what's great about a blood drive is you have to eat a really good, hearty couple meals. Yes, you do. And, and think the lady and sons is springing for the meal. <laughs> and you then are. we have snacks there for you. You do. Oh, best blood drive ever. Yes, <laughs> yes. This just in. If you go down this Friday and donate blood, uh, Paula Dean will feed you the uh, red velvet cake that she made. <laughs> By I hand. grant you there'll be something there good to eat. Yes, there will. <laughs> now, wait a second. Is it the more blood that you donate, the more food you get? Because seriously, you could take about 10 or 12 pints out of me. <laughs> well, we want you to be able to walk now, honey, when you leave. Walking is completely overrated if I can eat your food. <laughs> Well, I hope a bunch of folks feel that way. Well, Paul, I got to tell you, we actually moved here just to be closer to you, to Savannah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you for prolonging the restraining order. I really appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. Y'all are too cute. I got to tell you, Tim actually has this great story. I don't know if he uh, cares if I tell you this or not. But You are he... so not going to tell Paula Dean this story right now, are you? Tell me. Oh, yeah. God. Tim would time his, he'd go to the gym to time it just when your show is on, so he would run and watch your show. <laughs> That's a great way to watch my show, Is it, you know, But I will tell you this. On the treadmill. I, That's exactly you, it. I got so many weird looks at the gym because the people would come in and, and they'd get on their uh, little life cycles or their treadmills and everything, and they'd start watching me watching you <laughs> cook or wrap something in bacon, and they're just like, what are you doing? <laughs> As you're drooling as, from as the treadmill. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. One time you wrapped an entire stick of butter in a side of bacon and baked it for like a half hour, and it was like dangling a carrot in front of me to make me run faster, <laughs> going, I'm running to the light, Paula! Uh, uh, you know, we can all dream, can't we? We sure can. <laughs> now, but we got to remember about moderation. Give everybody the location of where the blood drive is happening. I know. that We're going to have two locations, and one of them is at the Lady and Sons. And for the life of me, I can't remember where the second one is. Are you going to be at the Lady and Sons one? I will be there. Well, then that's where people need to go. Along with my sons, and hopefully Michael will be able to be there. Oh, my uh, goodness. Because the men in my life, they're adamant about giving blood. I will tell you this right now, Paula Dean. If you will be there, I have not given blood for some reason over the over the course of years. I've just become a big baby about needles and everything like that. But if you're going to be there, I will come down there Aww. and you can have a couple of pints of mine. Darling, I will hold your hand you... while they're sticking the needle in ah! and I'll tell you a story about sugar plums dancing through your head. Yes, you and will. And you'll never even feel that needle. You know, you know something? Are you looking to adopt <laughs> a family of four because mine's on the, on the market. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, honey. Do you know what, darling? I will be down there, and you know we, we'll plaster the info all over uh, the Facebook for you Thank as well. Thank you. Too. It, you know it's such a good cause. It only takes a few minutes, and it can actually mean life. The great thing about giving blood is one pint generally saves three lives. They say, and on top of that, you don't have to give money in this holiday yeah. season when you're all we're all broke, and you want to give in some way. This is right. an easy way to give. Just a little bit of your time can mean so much to someone else. Can I ask you one last question, Paula? <laughs> yes. While you're reading me the story with the needle in my arm about sugar plums yeah. and everything like that, can can I have the picture? Can I take the picture of that? Yes. Aww. Okay, I'm down there. I am down there. In fact, you know what? Why stop at one trip? I'll just go out of the room, come back in, a couple more rounds, we'll be good. I'll see you at the Lady and Sons. <laughs> All right, we will have the information uh, for for everybody on the website. Paula, we love you so much. Thank you very much for taking us. I a love second. y'all back. Bless, bless holiday season. And we will see you down at the blood drive. There she is, Paula Dean, everybody!